Thanks. Our top story this morning, a fatal crash shutting down a busy section of 45. Police telling us the crash happened overnight on the inner loop right at University City Boulevard. NBC Charlotte's Ariel Placencia just arriving to that scene a few moments ago. So Ariel, have officials told you any idea of how long they expect this area of the road to be closed? Rachel, DOT tells us that it is not expected to reopen until 630 this morning. But truly, what a horrific crash. Take a look at this video that we shot just a little bit ago. We know that at least two vehicles were involved. That's according to the Highway Patrol. And at least one of them, you see right there, a white vehicle. Just significant, extensive damage to the front. The roof is caved in. Sadly, one person is dead in this fatal crash that happened around 2.50 this morning. Now back out to us here live on scene again. Inner loop of 485 right here at University City Boulevard completely shut down. And as you can see, dozens of emergency vehicles, crews still on scene trying to clean up and investigate exactly what happened. We still are working to get more details about how this crash happened. Again, Highway Patrol says at least two cars were involved. At least one person is dead, and this road is expected to remain closed until 6.30 this morning. For more on how this might affect your commute, let's head over to Rachel Roller. She joins us from our traffic center. Good morning, Rachel. Ariel, good morning. Thank you so much. Yeah, a sad situation out there, and if you travel through this area, you're very familiar with this roadway. So take a look at the map. You can see, as Ariel mentioned, the road closed between exit 33 and exit 36 and not going to reopen until after the morning commute. So that could definitely be a major problem for commuters in the university area. We've got some surrounding roads. I'll take a look at those throughout the morning to see what's really starting to slow down. But I want to also show you another issue we're working with this morning. Some down power lines on North Graham Street. You can see here that power pole leaning into the roadway. Crews are working to clean this up. No word yet how long this will remain closed. Also, again, North Graham Street, those down power poles after a car hit that and took off. Please still searching for the person responsible.